Hi everyone, I'm Paul Holloway. On today's video, we're going to talk about the echo to echo technique. I did an article about this a little while back, but if you are the type who would rather wait for the movie than read the book, then this is for you. When taking readings on painted surfaces using the first back wall echo, your reading will include the paint. Now, the velocity of sound through steel is about two to three times what it is through paint. So that means that just one millimeter of paint will look like two or three millimeters of steel. The echo to echo technique is kind of a neat way to take the paint out of the equation using the difference between successive back wall echoes. Let's take a look and see how that works. Sound enters the material and travels through the coating. Then it travels through the thickness of the part, down and back. Part of the sound is transmitted through the coating and back to the probe which is echo number one. However, some sound bounces off the coating interface and makes a second trip down and back through the material and the coating, which is echo number two, and so on and so on. Dividing each of these measurements by two and then taking the difference gives us the echo to echo reading, which is just T, the thickness. So I don't have a piece of painted steel here, but what I do have is one of the little boxes that my probes came in. So I cut the lid here and made this little guy, which we can use to simulate paint. So we'll couple the piece of plastic to the steel, and then we'll put some coupling on top of that, and then a little off to the side here. So on bare steel, our gate one reading is 9.35 millimeters, and our echo to echo, gate one to gate two, is about the same. So when I move my probe over to the pretend painted surface, what that piece of plastic does is it causes the probe to sit higher and push the gate one reading out. However, the gate one to gate two or echo to echo still reads 9.35. You can see gate one is about uh, 1.6 millimeters higher at 11 millimeters. So that 1.5 or 1.6 millimeter difference, that doesn't mean the coating is that thick. The machine thinks you're just measuring one material. And when the sound goes into that coating, even though it's not going very far, it goes really slowly. So the machine thinks that that's extra steel. In actual fact, the thickness of the coating is probably about a half or a third of that 1.5 millimeters. So this little piece of plastic that I've got is probably polyethylene terephthalate or PET. And the velocity of sound through this is about 1900 meters per second, which is about a third what it is through steel. So if I had a difference of 1.5 millimeters, then if I divide that by three, I should get about the thickness of this thing. That's about zero. And we'll measure this. And we get about 0.6, not bad. So it's kind of neat. Using the echo to echo technique, not only are we able to take the coating thickness out, we're actually able to measure the coating thickness. The echo to echo technique won't work in every case. Uh, if you're using a dual crystal transducer, things can get a little bit messy uh, because of the mode converted uh, shear waves that happen in between successive echoes. We'll go over that in another video, uh, but if the back surface is really badly corroded, uh, you may not be able to get uh, or resolve two back wall echoes. So here's a little trick to get around that. So what you want to do is take your probe and put it on an area nearby the really bad corrosion spot that you're trying to measure in an area that's hopefully free of corrosion. And then take a look at your uh, echo to echo reading and then manually compensate for paint thickness by dialing the zero up so that the gate one reading equals the echo to echo. In this case, I'm gonna turn it up to about, uh, that's close enough. So basically you'd be correcting for coating thickness in real time, assuming that both areas have the same condition. Uh, that isn't always the case. If you take a look at this hydroform scan here, you'll see on the right hand side, the coating varies quite a bit. So you just have to be careful. So whatever you do, just make sure you follow your procedure and write down what you did. If you used echo to echo on your readings, then write that in the report. Uh, there's a lot more stuff we could talk about for thickness testing and the echo to echo technique, but I'm gonna save that for later videos. I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.